So we're going to begin in the cross-section sheet definitions, DGN Live. And we're going to begin by creating a text favorite. And I'm going to call this one cross-section sheet station range. Okay. Um, I'm going to come down to civil element properties, uh, annotation, a cross-section annotation. And I'm just going to search on the word sheet. And you can see here are my options. Um, I'm going to begin by setting my text style. I'm going to put a prefix uh, in here, station. And I'm going to set the minimum station. I'm going to set my format. Save preview and accept. I'll put a dash between them, a prefix of station. And then we will set the uh, maximum station as well. Okay. So we're going to save that, and that's our text favorite, and then we want to place that in the correct location on the sheet. And so I'm just going to place that right here. Okay, so once again, this is our cross-section sheet definition, DGN Live. Now let's go do the same thing for our plan sheet, DGN Live. So on our plan sheet, once again, we want to put our station range right here. So we're going to go to Text Favorite Manager. I'm going to create a new one. I'll call this one Plan Sheet Station Range. Okay. Once again, we'll go to Civil Element Properties, Annotation, Linear Plan, and I'm just going to search on Sheet. Okay, now we're going to do something a little bit different. Here we'll put the uh, alignment name. I'll just click on Save Preview, and we'll accept that. Let's select our uh, textile that we want to use. On the next line, once again, I'm going to use the station prefix. I'm going to do uh, minimum station. We'll accept that. We'll do a dash, the prefix again. And we'll do maximum station. And we will save that one. And once again, we will come down and look for the plan sheet station range. And we will set that right um, in that area right there. Now that we've got that done, let's go cut some cross sections. So for convenience, we've already got our name boundaries placed. So let's just go to the name boundary manager. And we'll create our cross section drawings. You can see here our annotation group is set. Say OK. And you can see here our sheet. Here's 47, 48, 21. And you can see they get labeled properly on each sheet. Let's just go check out another one here. There's 27 to 30. So it gets filled in automatically. Now let's go look at how that works also with our plan sheets. So for convenience, once again, we've already got our plan borders uh, created. Uh, so let's just bring up our uh, name boundary manager and we will create our plan drawings. Say OK. And you can see here along the bottom, it's automatically put in our alignment name as well as our beginning and ending stations. Let's go check one of those. For example, you can see here a match line at 14, a match line at 28, and labeled properly from 14 to 28.